Now the heavy stuff that we were expecting overnight tonight is actually going to be pushed to the north of us. So we're talking about just light to moderate rain for us today. But in Bakersfield, we've already seen 78, 78 hundredths of an inch, and that is more than the record for this day that was set back in the 1950s. And Tehachapi looking at just over three fourths of an inch and more is on the way tonight, continuing into tomorrow. So we're looking at still scattered showers for us here in the valley till around 630. But as we take a look into the evening hours tonight that heavy rain that we were seeing so those yellow and orange colors that were making their way across the county this time yesterday it's actually going to be pushed north of us so that atmospheric river as acting as a water hose and it's actually aiming to the north of us so we'll still see light to moderate rain overnight tonight but not as much as we were expecting but as we head into the early morning hours tomorrow there is that rain shadow effect over us here in Bakersfield but the mountains still getting some rain we're looking at 31 mile per hour winds in Fraser Park 25 into Hatchby as well as up up in the Kern River Valley and then we're getting one final push of the storm starting tomorrow afternoon and that's going to be continuing into the evening hours as well. Still looking at strong winds and again we're still seeing this into the early morning hours on Friday but as we head to right around 9 10 a.m. it looks to be drying out and clearing up still looking at strong winds though in our mountain communities as well as for us here in Bakersfield. So that's all of these winds that we've been talking about bringing us yet another day of great air quality with an AQI of 36 but there is still a flash flood watch in effect that started this afternoon continuing into Thursday evening. So that's going to be all of this warm rain that we've been seeing is melting the snow up in the mountains. So that's creating an excess of runoff water that we could see some flooding conditions overnight. But we look at this future cast drying out on Friday, but there's yet another cold front that's making its way down toward the county starting on Saturday. So we have yet another chance of rain on Sunday for us here in the valley. But we're looking at warm conditions, still 69 degrees on Thursday, but cooling down significantly to 63 on Friday, then down to 59 Sunday with that chance of rain. But then we're drying out, clearing up and back to those 70s by early next week for us here in Bakersfield in the Kern River Valley, looking at 61 degrees tomorrow, but cooling down as we head into the weekend. But there is definitely a chance of rain as we head into those overnight hours tomorrow, but then we will be clearing up. So again, we thought there could be a chance of snow, but it doesn't look like it will be getting quite cold enough in those higher elevations to get snow tomorrow. But we are still talking about rain mm. continuing tonight into tomorrow, even those early hours on Friday. <laughs> Man, I really had my fingers crossed for snow. We need yeah. it. I we know. We need some more. So. More than all this rain, we need the snowpack yes. so that it can melt slowly. Yeah, That's right. I know, except all at, at once, once right now. Yeah.